In fact, it, not only is it on the line, he's been sacked. Oh my God, he's been sacked. I mean, I'm trying to hide my smile, but he's been sacked. <laughs> That's amazing. And welcome back to another episode of Sunshine on Lathe. If you're still enjoying the save, drop a like on the video. That would be superb. So in the last episode, we, we started well and still had some okay results in there. But today is where we really get back down to business. This is one where we, we have to win. Uh, at home against Forest Green, we beat them twice last year for a combined total of 10-1, I think, in the end. So hopefully we can carry on that uh, this time. Still no CT, still no Ben Johnson. They're still going to be out for at least another match, maybe even two, uh, which is bad news for us, to be honest. We did lose our uh, EFL trophy match against Crew. Played really well, had some good chances, but just couldn't put them in the bloody net. Story of our season, isn't it? He reminds me of Booty, and I just can't shake that. Why did I love that? I can't think of a reason. The Korean word Siok is is legit pronounced sock. So if he plays well, one could say he's played his socks off. This is very true. He actually started up against Crew. Um, I think he might have not been wearing socks. That's the best way I can describe how well he played in front of goal. So we must press on. It's Forest Green today. Uh, we're missing Thomas. We're missing Johnson. It's not ideal. We played a completely rotated team for the crew match. They played Spurs. Uh, so hopefully we've got the advantage of fitness because a win here would just start to keep us plugging away. we we'll put us back to sort of a roughly nearly two points a game, which is what I want to be targeting really if you want to get towards the top of this division because uh, the MK Dons are flying. But at the end of the day, really my target was top half, maybe playoffs. And I think playoffs is definitely where I'm looking at right now. That's where I feel like we can achieve. So let's get some selection advice. Lots of changes needed here. Uh, Collins and Knight, Defty back, Richardson, Vernon, Morton and Dale. No, not playing Dale there. Um, Dion George will start there. Oh, good. He's gone on international duty. Terrific. In the middle of the damn season. Uh, I guess it's going to be BPK today then. Interesting. Okay, see how that one does. So Morton on the left or Michael Lee. Morton or Lee. Morton or Lee. It's really difficult to know. Um... I'm going to go with Dave Morton again here, but we still haven't seen the best out of him lately, to be honest. Definitely going to come back in. Uh, Stanojevic hasn't exactly ripped up trees, but he's still very young. So they've got Campbell as their sort of key man. Uh, nobody's really a playmaker for them. This is an important one. They've slipped a lot. I mean, we saw what they did last year. They've kind of just continued where they left off, really. Wins in games like this are what sets you up, and we need to get that confidence back because we have looked kind of poor. Like, even in the Oldham victory, we didn't look fantastic. I mean, we still created the chances, but we didn't put them away and only won one nil. That's a, a, a worry. Because I feel like we've just not been create. We didn't create anything against Warsaw, and we need to do that today. This is a massive game for us in terms of just getting that confidence back, getting the sort of game to flow a little bit more. So hopefully we can take advantage of that. But 10 minutes in, and I mean, look at the amount of possession they've had. Dale, look at the space. He's got to find Wakeling. And he does, and it's a great save. But that is excellent link up there from James Dale and Jacob Wakeling. The kind of thing we really, really need at the moment. Morton's ball in, and it's a cluster. I mean, well played the goalkeeper. They've got a lot of possession, though. Nothing's happening at all. We've had no highlights since that shot early doors. Oh, great. I guess we've kind of got away with it for a few years now without getting any major injuries, but it does seem like now it's just the pendulum have swung us back. Great. So now John Richardson's out too, and that one will hopefully not be too serious, but let's face it, it probably will be. So Connor Teal will come in. Um, well, we're not moving to a register now. Yeah, so they've got 61% of the ball despite our high press, which shows how easy they've been able to play through us in this game. Uh, we've done nothing. We create that one chance early doors, but Jesus. It's actually incredible how much of the ball they're able to keep, considering. Just going to go out there and try and pull something off in this second period. It is still only nil-nil after all. Uh, so it's still there for us to win, but teams that get promoted win their home games against teams that are down towards the bottom. That's just, just what you have to do. And if we can't do that, I don't know. I just think we're, we're losing players left and right now, and it's a concern. You're going to push it to attacking. Uh, I feel like this game is going nowhere otherwise, and it's just going to drizzle out into a nil-nil draw, which is exactly what they want. Putman Kitely, can he do something? Ball whipped in. Morton's header, and it's uh, just a tame nothing header over the bar. These are the kind of games that if we don't take our chances and win them, they'll get like a late indirect free kick and win it. That That's unfortunately the situation. Dale, look at the space out wide. The runs have been made, but Connor Teal... Pop McCartley picks it up. Okay, bit of intensity now. Teal, look at the space out there. Michael Lee, can he put this on a plate for someone? He's got to the box. Wakeling, he can't spin only. Well, he actually can spin and he does get the shot away, but it's not enough. I think we were probably the better team, but it doesn't matter if you can't do anything. Um, once again, a little bit of creativity. And, oh my Lord, we've just been shit again. Um, we're just lacking any kind of creative now anymore and it's really costing us in matches. Now we're still in the playoffs, but only barely. Um, the lack of CT, the lack of Ben Johnson as well. 
it's just going to cost us dearly, I think, at the moment. And we, we really have got to get those two back and firing very, very soon. We just don't score goals anymore. Uh, that, that That's the main problem. Just no goals are being scored ever since Curtis Thomas has dropped out the team, basically. It's a problem. It's a real problem. And we're going to try and fix that uh, with some games off camera. Right then, guys, we're back. And we did manage to finally grab ourselves a win away at Scunthorpe United, who were, of course, second from bottom in the league and struggling. They just sat their manager, I think, as well. Michael Lee getting in there, whipping it across, and there was Jacob Wakeling to make it 1-0 to us. We did have a few players back this time. Curtis Thomas, I believe, was able to start in this game, and I think it made a huge difference. Dion George whipped the ball in, and there was Kai Knight in there too. Now, something I'd noticed, in fact, was that as a result of all the tactical switches we'd doing, our set pieces were completely skewed. So we were having a striker stay back and one of them attack the posts instead of one of our taller centre-backs. So I've rejigged that and I really do think it's made a difference. The other thing I've done in these off-camera matches, other than the fact that we brought in CT, uh, which is really nice as well, was bring back in Will Harding because I really do think that Alan, um, whatever his name is, Collins, was just not good enough in the air to allow us to win those headers and intercept those passes to keep recycling possession. So I've brought back in Will Harding and I think that's made a difference too. That was kind of evident away at Lincoln City. Morton's ball in. Jed Vernon with the header. We had six half chances in this one. A bit of a strange one for us, but nevertheless, we got it. And then this is just lovely from Morton here. Uh, the little link up between the three of them is lovely here. Knocks around the side for Wakeling. Instead of shooting, just drops it back for Morton. Morton dinks it across. And there was Curtis Thomas to score a goal. And it's so important. The PPG of Curtis Thomas is insane. As we then went to a very strange game against Crew. Curtis Thomas's ball whipped across. There was Will Harding. First appearance, I think, for us this season properly. And scored immediately. But then, 47 minutes in, CT bangs an incredibly good little direct free kick. Nice to see him finally get one of those. Then not long after that, he does it again. We barely scored one last year, and he's got two in the same game. Unfortunately, though, uh, Crew cut us open with one lovely ball in behind and a gorgeous little finish on the volley there from Hodge to make it 3-1. And then for the third time in the same game, three direct free kicks scored in the same match. Insane. 3-2, but we got away with it. And I think we deserve the victory. Curtis Thomas was sensational. And then lastly, we played against Rochdale. Dominated them quite a lot in terms of chances at home. Curtis Thomas gave us the lead after 50 minutes. And then... I finally decided to start having a look at some throw-ins. And all I did, basically, was reset everything and just set our throw-in takers to just go long. Nothing else. Didn't move any players. And we finally scored a goal from one. Dion George getting in there, scoring his first ever goal for Whitport midway through his second season at the club. It was really nice for Dion George to do that. And a 2-0 victory. We're barely conceding goals and we're scoring a few more now. It's really noticeable. Moreover than that, um, the best two players for PPG in this team is Curtis Thomas and Ben Johnson. Now that they're both back in the team, we seem to be firing, even though Johnson didn't play that well in this game. It really does seem like the two of those guys with them we are a proper unit that can play football without them we seem to be completely hopeless and just completely losing our way but here's how the league is looking uh, us and Leighton Orient are flying at the moment Cheltenham were on a good run and have started to slip away a little bit now MK Dons have been dropping a few points here and there which is pretty useful for us as we are now on to 35 points that little run has really done us some good we're still right in the battle for an automatic spot seven points clear of dropping out the playoffs now I think the playoffs are starting to look better and better for us which is really nice but when you look at you know we beat Crawley we drew to Forest Green is a frustrating one beat Scunthorpe these are good results but we've beaten teams around us we drew with Leighton Orient lost to Wimbledon Shaw but we beat Gillingham we beat Crewe and I think we beat Cheltenham in there as well we're getting results against the teams around us in the league today we travel away to bolton who are relegated and started well but have really fallen off the pace ct top player in the league again nine goals so far this season he is now our top goal scorer of all time for whitport athletic and i can't think of a nicer bloke to have it happen to and just super quickly i signed this guy joe bruce he came on a trial liked the look of him so we brought him in on a free transfer put him on the basic wage just to sort of see what he could do potentially as a young backup in the squad another fun thing though Ben Johnson, when he finally came back from injury, we got the injury return, like back in full training thing. Two minutes later, basically, another injury, and he missed another game as a result of that. It's crazy. I've never seen them be quite that close. And they were different injuries too. So today, potential injuries with Dave Morton being out. Uh, there's another guy I'm looking at called Lewis Broadley Jenkinson, who looks like he could be a phenomenal pressing forward. Uh, we don't know that much about him yet, but there's some things I quite like about this guy uh, in terms of his ability to play as a pressing forward for us. Small check in on League One and Blackhaven are now in the relegation places by five points. They've lost five games in a row and are now five points from safety having played an extra game. Blackhaven are in trouble, people. Oh, this is delightful. Uh, not as big a trouble as Dagenham and Redbridge, though. Newly promoted to the division and have lost 15 out of 16 matches and have one point after 16 games. A very interesting one, I think you'll agree. Blackhaven have got it up against them. Uh, their goal difference is better than some of the teams around them, but they've got to pull their finger out. I wonder if Thomas Stepanak's job is going to be on the line here. In fact, it, not only is it on the line, he's been sacked. Oh my God, he's been sacked. I mean, I'm trying to hide my smile, but he's been sacked. <laughs> That's amazing. So Gary Finley is now the manager of Blackhaven United. They got bored of Stepanek's success and have gone, you know what? Screw it. We're going to sack the poor bastard. I kind of feel for him in some way.
The guy won four league titles with them in like six years and they've sacked him because they were starting to struggle a little bit. Oh, dearie me. That's quite funny, isn't it? <laughs> four, four league wins, five promotions, and after six years at the club, they've sacked Thomas Stepanek. I guess the bigger question is where will he end up next at this rate? That is the big question. So let's see what we can come up with for today. Uh, we've not had a great deal of rest, but Michael Lee is at least back. So uh, with the slight injury to uh, Morton, we're going to have to make do with that. But backline, again, I'm not doing Alan Collins. You can actually see his average rating has been very poor compared to that of Will Harding when he's come in. And Harding's barely played. Oh, actually, Harding... Yeah, no, we might not have a choice but to play Alan Collins today <laughs> just because of the sheer lack of fitness in some players. Okay, that's frustrating, but we may not have a choice there. I will still be starting Defty. Stanojevic hasn't quite impressed me enough yet. But everywhere else, we're looking better. Uh, I just want to show you the PPG thing. Curtis Thomas... 2.31 points per game when he's in the team. Ben Johnson, 2.3 points per game. Those two are head and shoulders above the rest of our players in terms of the number of points we gain while they're in the squad. It's crazy. Same with Simon Defty, in fact. And when you look down towards the bottom, Pat McKightley, it's not good, unfortunately. The same with Bishop and whatnot. And James Dale, compared to put Curtis Thomas, it's not even close. So that, to me, is the reason we've suddenly come back into form again. It's so good. That win against Scumford really did help us, though. We have been helped also by having a bit more rest in between matches. Not between this one, but still. Bolton started off so well and they've really shr shrunk down. Now, I'm not expecting us to win five in a row, but it would be nice. And honestly, I see no reason why we can't. They're in terrible form, really, and we're in great form. Right then, let's have this. Let's go and grab another victory and keep that pressure on the teams at the top. At this rate, we'll end up replacing Blackhaven in League One next year. <laughs> that would be amazing. Although... I almost don't want that to happen because I really want to play against them again. So either it'd be nice if they stayed up so we played them in League One next year if we went up, or if we don't go up, it'd be nice if they did come down, you know? I am concerned about having Alan Collins in. Oh, what a ball. They've left Thomas in acres of space. He's got tons of room. He's not going to be able to find the ball. Lee might. Oh, nearly. So, so close. Richardson, Thomas, this is what I want to see from us. Look at this. Oh, lovely little one-touch stuff on the edge of the box. What I like to see. Warns the channel for Wooly. That is an incredible ball. Great tackle. Brilliant from Kai Knight, who's really become an integral part of this team uh, since he wasn't starting that much for us last year. And then by the second half of the year, he just became so important for us in these sort of areas. Punched away. Richardson clears it. Okay. Come on, Curtis. Can you pop one on Kai Knight's head? Sometimes you just need a little bit of luck and Kai Knight gets his head on target. Poor performance so far from both sides, really. No real creativity on either team. Maybe this could be a Richardson to Regista type of day. Don't you dare. There we go. That's fine. This is encouraging size. Richardson again. With a bit between his teeth. Loads of room out wide. He's got to find the ball. Oh, okay. He goes for Curtis Thomas instead. Brave. Nevitt. Oh, goes past a couple of tackles. And Curtis Thomas off the post, I think. Or the keeper got there. Not sure. I I'm making John Richardson into a Regista because this is the kind of game where I think he could flourish there because he's been given space by Bolton. Out for Defty. Can Defty whip a ball across? He does. Wakeling, And that's a penalty. Curtis Thomas will take it. A chance to go to double figures for the season. Sometimes you need a penalty just to get yourselves going. He's got a good record from the spot. Uh, I think he has missed one, though. And CT stamps it home. Bolton nil, Whitport one. Tenth goal of the year for Curtis Thomas would see us go to one point off the top of the league and starting to look very, very good. Um, he's into double figures for the year now. Ten goals this season. Really, really nice. I th still think he can get to 20 goals again this year. Now, is he a top scorer of all time as well? Now, obviously, we're going to need a little bit more than that. Um, maybe some work from set pieces here. Curtis Thomas's ball through. Cleared away. Richardson's got it. Can he dink something out? Thomas and Lee. Big save. And there's a simple goal for Ben Johnson. It's 2-0 at the University of Bolton Stadium. Ben Johnson's second goal of the season. Michael Lee will actually get credited with the assist for that. I think that might be his fourth or fifth assist of the year. A bit fortunate with the way this broke to him. But still, the determination to keep in there was really, really nice to see. Thomas with the ball in. Comes all the way through for Michael. It's a great save from the goalkeeper, but nobody's marking Ben Johnson. And yet again, he looks like he's going to be on the winning side. So we will see. Will he flourish? It would be a fifth consecutive league victory. Uh, unbeaten for a little while as well. And with the boys back in the team, if we can keep these guys fit, I think we've got a real shot on automatic spot this year if we keep on playing like this. Nevitt lobs one into the box. It's flicked down. Surely that's offside. It isn't offside, but I think we're going to get away with it. Something we've been very good at lately is winning games by two goals to nil and not conceding a goal. It's been our thing. And we've just not conceded that many goals lately. Richardson into the box here. Can he dink one out? What a lovely ball from John Richardson. Michael Lee at the far post makes it 3-0 to Whitport away from home. And now we're starting to click. This is what I like to see from us. Richardson does so well here to just shrug the defender off. But then he's got so much work to do. I thought he was just going to dink it. But he's picked him out wonderfully well here. Smashes it across. Lee has a lot of work to do there. Gets his head across that. A goal and an assist tonight for Michael Lee as well. The consistency is back for him, it would seem. Maybe look for Ben Johnson. They're actually just letting Defty run with it. And Ben Johnson's now in acres of space. Brilliant work. Whips it across for Wakeling, and it's... Oh, it's loose, and Curtis Thomas has poked it home. We're 4-0 up at Bolton. This is definitely going to be one of our best performances of the year, and this would actually send us, temporarily at least, top of the league. They don't close down Simon Defty, 
and he just is able to find Ben Johnson so easily there. Again, he gets himself into the box, gives him a lot of work to do, and Curtis Thomas is just sliding through there. The keeper's already gone to ground, scores his second goal of the night, and onto his 11th of the year. This is the kind of result we were looking for, uh, I've got to say. Like, we've been great lately. Oh, wow, round the side for Ben Johnson. He's not going to be able to get the shot in from there, but he might still have the intensity to keep the ball. And he's still nearly got it. And apparently it's a free kick to us. Can he put this in a dangerous spot there, Michael? Lee, and he has, and Harding hits the side netting with it out wide. And we are in great form now. But this is like the pinnacle of that. Going away to a team like Bolton, who are a good side, relegated from the League One last year, and putting eight chances on them and actually scoring four times with Curtis Thomas scoring a brace in there too. Michael Lee putting in a big performance. Johnson as well. That's what we've really look, been looking for. We've been slowly moving our way towards this over recent matches. There we go. Bolton nil, Whitport Athletic four. We go top of the league, uh, but the best goal difference in the division as well. That's a really, really good sign for me. Only 13 goals conceded now. We've been much better defensively, scoring a few more. Still not the most, but the MK Dons are just starting to fall off the pace a little bit. This is brilliant. So um, we've won four out of our last six, and we've only conceded two goals and kept five clean sheets. That's more like it. As you can see, FA Cup first round is up next, and we're at home against 22nd place in the National League, Alfreton Town. This is about as winnable as a game as we could have got. The chance for us to earn nearly 50 grand and get through to the FA Cup second round is on the cards, and I am ecstatically excited looking forward to that. Uh, so it's going to be Alfreton and MK Dons up in the next episode. That is going to be massive. So if you've enjoyed this, and I hope you have, we're in great form again now, which is terrific. Drop a like, that'd be superb. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Uh, follow me on Twitch. I stream on Tuesdays. Thursdays and usually at the weekends as well. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Next episode is going to be massive though. FA Cup and the top of the table clash. What more do you want? I'll see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Hold your gun. Happy Bye-bye.